Lindsay here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a quick and easy but flavorful shrimp fettuccine Cajun pasta. As you know, I'm from New Orleans, so I love to incorporate Cajun and Creole flavors into food whenever I can. This recipe is great for beginners. It incorporates very basic ingredients such as bell peppers, onions, garlic, shrimp, pasta noodles, stock, and heavy whipping cream. Those are your basic ingredients. So even if you don't have any prior cooking knowledge, I guarantee that you can make a pasta that is as flavorful and as close to Cajun as you can get it. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. We're starting off by washing the shrimp. I then go ahead and peel each of the shrimp. I then rewash the peeled shrimp. I will be seasoning the shrimp with Obey and Mrs. Dash. After I season the shrimp, I'll marinate it for about 30 minutes. Now I'm filling up a pot of water for the fettuccine noodles. I like to season my water so I'll be adding some olive oil, sea salt, and black pepper. Now it's time to wash and then chop our veggies. Once the pasta water has boiled, I go ahead and add in the pasta noodles. Now I'm heating up a saucepan full of coconut oil that we will be sauteing our vegetables in. I'll be seasoning my vegetables as well. I'll be adding some black pepper, some Mrs. Dash seasonings, cayenne pepper, as well as Old Bay seasoning. So basically what I just did was cut up a bunch of vegetables. I cut up some bell pepper, some yellow bell pepper, orange, green, and red bell pepper, as well as purple and yellow onion. And then I went ahead and seasoned it with a bunch of seasonings to give it that Creole 
Asian flavor. If I had any Tony Saturns, I, I would use that, but I'm currently out. So instead I use Old Bay seasoning to give it that sort of Cajun seafood flavor. What I'm doing now is I'm just letting it caramelize for a bit so that it can absorb the different seasonings I just put inside. Here on the back burner, I have my pasta fettuccine noodles boiling until it gets to a nice al dente texture. Then I'll go ahead and take that off and strain it. And then you'll see what happens next. So now I've let the vegetables caramelize for a bit. So next I'm gonna go ahead and What I'm doing next is adding some seafood stock to the vegetables. So you have to shake it up a bit to make it sort of condensed in here. And then I pour the seafood stock in there. And so now what we're doing is making the foundation of our pasta sauce. We're gonna make a homemade Cajun sauce from scratch. I'm adding some African smoked seasoning blend, basil, and red chili pepper. So now we let our vegetables and seafood stock sort of sit together over fire so that they can combine all of their different flavors together and we can get a nice base and foundation for our sauce. Here is the shrimp after I let it marinate for about 30 minutes. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and add the shrimp to our vegetables and stock. Because I like some spice in my life, I'm gonna add some Jamaican ghost peppers to the sauce stock. Now the pasta is nice and al dente, so I'm gonna take it off of the fire and then strain it. And then I'm just gonna go and sit this aside over here. Let's go back and check on our stock. It's looking nice and juicy and it, it just smells so good. The sauce is pretty much done, but the main ingredient for the sauce that we haven't added yet is some heavy whipping cream. This gives your sauce the creaminess that makes it nice, big, and rich. So I just got some heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. And then you go just go ahead and pour that. And what the heavy whipping cream does is of course add cream in it, but it also thickens your sauce up a lot. Now I'm adding this Mrs. Stash and Old Bay. I wish I had 20 saturans, but instead we have to sort of recreate that Creole Asian seasoning. Now I'm gonna just let that thicken up for a few minutes and then we'll add the pasta to the sauce. The sauce has been cooking for quite some time now. I'm gonna check and make sure it's nice and thick. As you can see, it's been bubbling, it's nice. Thick. You know your sauce is well seasoned when it starts to develop a nice pinkish, orange hue. So now what we're gonna do is add the fettuccine noodles to the pasta sauce. And then I let it cook down a bit more to get thicker. Now 
Now our pasta is done. As you can see, it's absorbed very nicely into our thick Cajun sauce. We have our juicy shrimp, our caramelized vegetables. So yeah, this is a really nice, quick and easy Cajun fettuccine shrimp pasta that you can make yourself at home. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you try out this recipe. Let me know if you do. I'll be sharing a lot more cooking videos on my YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.